In this video, we'll be reviewing how to set up the client portal in Practice Perfect. Step 1. To access all of the latest client portal features, you must be running version 600 or above. For assistance with the upgrade, please don't hesitate to contact the support department. To begin the setup, select Settings, Customize Web Client Portal from the menu bar at the top of the screen. In there, you'll find five tabs, General, Color Schemes, Policies, Fee Code Order, and Payment Link. Starting with General, the first heading is Client Portal Defaults. At the time of producing this video, these options are grayed out and will only be available for future use. Nonetheless, here's how they work. Clients can cancel online. Leave this option checked if you want clients to be able to cancel their appointments online. If not, and you prefer that they call to cancel, you may uncheck this box. Clients can change contact info online. Do you want the clients to be able to change their contact info in the web portal? If so, leave this box checked. If not, you may uncheck it. Clients can book appointments online. Activated by default, this option can be unticked which means that the patient self-booking functions of the client portal will be disabled. The next option has to do with what information is provided to the patient in the financial section of the client portal. In the financial info to show on the client portal field, there are three options as follows. None. If selected, the clients will not be able to access any financial information on the client portal total charge slash client portion. If selected, both the payer and client sides of the charge will be displayed. Client portion only. If selected, only information related to the client's portion of any charge will be displayed. This is the most popular selection here. Under registration defaults, you can choose whether you want brand new patients to be able to register themselves online, effectively creating their own client profile in Practice Perfect. To give them the ability to do so, check off Allow Patient Registration. During self-registration, clients will be prompted to enter their insurance information. To disable this function, please untick Clients Can Enter Insurance Information During Registration. Also during self-registration, clients will be prompted to review and agree to your terms and conditions. To disable this function, please untick Clients can review terms and conditions during registration. Choose the weeks allowed for patients to self-book appointments on the web. How far in advance do you want patients to be able to schedule their appointments? Enter the preferred number of weeks here. Lastly. Choose whether or not confirmation is required when patients schedule their own appointments online. If this box is checked, appointments booked by patients will be marked as held. They will need to be approved by the clinic before they are officially added to the scheduler. Step 2. Next we're going to take a look at the Color Schemes tab. This tab gives you the ability to customize the appearance of your client portal and stay consistent with your clinic's branding. We're going to show you where each of these colors appear on your client portal. Background color, the background of your client portal. Regular font color, the color of the text entered by clients. Sidebar color, there is a sidebar present in every screen of the client portal. Sidebar text color, you may choose the color of the text within the sidebar. Title font slash input color, the color of the font for each field heading. Button slash field underline color, the color of the buttons and underlines. Box slash frame color, the color of the outline for any boxes or frames. Step three, let's review the policies tab. When new patients register through your client portal, they may be required to consent to your clinic's various policies. These policies are set up here. Practice Perfect comes preloaded with five very generic policies. However, policies can be added, modified, or deleted very easily. Create a new policy by using the green plus sign. 
and here's where the policy appears in the client portal. As you can see, the patient will be required to check off, I have read, understand, and acknowledge the above policy for each one. Step four. The last part of the general setup for the client portal has to do with the verbiage surrounding online payments. The options for this are found under the payment link tab. There are two fields here as follows. Portal payment wording. This is the phrasing that will appear under the client's balance on the portal in the financial section. Typically, this could say, please call the clinic to pay your balance at 555-555-5555, or please click on the link below to pay your balance, etc. Portal payment website. If you do have a payment portal, the portal website would be entered here, and this will appear as a hyperlink on the client portal under the portal payment wording field outlined above. Now continue to part two for how to set up providers for the client portal.